the small house movement has been getting bigger not the houses, the movement itself. Apison resident Travis Pike knows that, even though it's not the main reason he built the 200-square-foot cabin he and his wife live in. I had the skills to do it, said Pike, 26, who grew up in a carpentry family. I saw it as an opportunity to not have mortgage. So does his business partner, Jeremy Weaver, who's building a tiny home for himself and his wife. Wine River Custom Homes was scheduled to incorporate last week. Another company, Tennessee Tiny Homes, in Collierville, has been building small homes since 2011. I thought it was such a cool concept, said Ail Canos Ailes, 25, Wind River's first client. Canos Ailes, a Delta flight attendant, decided that buying a tiny home would give her a place of her own without putting her into debt. It will take some adjustment to be comfortable in her 24 by 8 foot cabin. I've never lived anywhere that small, the Southern Adventist University graduate said. She lives with five housemates in Atlanta now, but her room is pretty big. Tiny homes tend to range from 75 to 800 square feet and are often mobile and constructed around a steel truck.